Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Appeal Court affirms INEC decision and its discretion on e-transfer of results. Now, this will be aberration of what has been. Don't forget that the Electoral Act says before the election, INEC has ample time within a, spec within a stipulated amount of period to tell the nation what means they will use in transmission of results. And without being coerced, forced, or under duress, INEC said, why not if not? We have spent $335 billion on, you know, IREV on Beavers. This will be our mode of transmitting results in real time. So that was their conclusion. But they went ahead and did totally the opposite. Now a court is coming to confirm that what they said, what they did after was right. If this is not fraud, I don't understand what else is. Welcome to Nigeria, by the way. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. The Court of Appeal, Lagos, of course, is in Lagos now. Of course, it's in Lagos. Uh, where Tinubu was president, uh, governor before, they have to support INEC because they know. The Court of Appeal, Lagos Division, has voided a federal high court decision that mandated the independent National Electoral Commission to electronically upload results of the governorship and state assembly election from the polling unit directly to the result viewing portal, IREV. A three-man panel comprises of Justice Abubakar Human, Justice Olokayo De Bade, and Justice Onyemachi Otase heard that the law given INEC very wild description power to determine how it transmits or transfer electronic results. The judgment delivered by the panel on July the 19th and obtained by Guardian yesterday described the suit filed by the Labour Party at the lower court, which gave rise to the appeal as an abuse of court proceedings. That's not true. Let's be honest. Think about it. On March the 8th, 2023, Labour Party, its governorship candidate in Lagos State, Badebo, Rendo Vendo, and 41 others obtained the order of mandatory from Justice Peter Laffey of the Federal High Court Lagos to compel INEC to be Electoral Act and its guideline for the conduct of the election. Justice Afi directed INEC to compare, comply and enforce clause 37 and 38 of the regulation and guideline from the code of from the conduct of the governorship and state assembly election in Lagos State. The clause mandated presiding officers of all polling units to pass the publication of a result posted at the polling unit. Consequently, after, after compl complying with Form EC8A result sheet, the order also mandated the presiding officer of to electronically transmit results, the results of the polling unit directly to the collision center and a scanned copy of EC8A to INEC IREV immediately. After completing of the polling unit voting and result products, this was supposed to be done. However, INEC did not do it. Now, a court of appeal, they tell INEC, say, go on, we are right behind you. Don't worry, go on. Is that how to do things? In this country, people do the wrong things with confidence and they move around and tell themselves, nobody can touch me. Oh, I'm untouchable. Why do we have such people? In this country, you know this thing is wrong. You know, in your heart of heart, you know. You know. But yet, you go against the very law. Like I earlier reiterated, INEC, nobody, it, nobody compared INEC to say, it must be this way. Nobody. <clears throat> nobody compared INEC and said, you must transmit result this way. Nobody. They chose, they, they had... They had the opportunity to choose however way they deem fit to transmit results. 
INEC by itself with itself went ahead and said, okay, we will transmit it electronically in real time. Now the court is saying, yes, that was what you said. Obey your, obey your, you know, your, your decision that you followed. Now a court of appeal, this is what happened. When some people have been given something, I don't, I did not say what something is. So yes, something is a, is a variable. It can be pat on the back. It can be a kiss on the cheek. Yeah, people have been given something. And because of that, they begin to turn. What I will say here is, whatever position you find yourself, be careful. You may be in a position today where you are supposed to stand and speak for the people. Yet, you turn your back on the people and you do some other things. Remember, you will not be there forever. A day will come. You will regret the consequences of your actions. But may I say to you, it will be and may be too late already. And then you will have no one, okay? You will have no one to, to sympathize with you. That's the reality. You have no one to sympathize with you. If you keep lying, you know, and doing things that are wrong and pay no attention to what is right, a time will come. You will find it so difficult and you will ask yourself, how did I get here? And you will leave your days in regret. I can tell you, you will leave your days in regret. You are in a position now to ensure that things are done properly and people can live their life. You are in a position where you can help people, but what are you doing? You're taking that opportunity and you're doing some other things. You're taking that opportunity and you are wasting it. It's only a matter of time. You will see for yourself how things truly are. Okay? You see for yourself how things truly are. Remember, you have a voice. And so we cannot afford to be quiet when we should really be speaking. The truth of the matter is, whatever happens, every single one of us have got an opportunity to make a difference and to make this nation a better place. Remember, it's up to you and I. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. And from us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.